हेलो स्टूडेंट्स गुड टाइम टू ऑल आई एम चंदन कुमार प्रधान वेलकम टू यूट्यूब चैनल चंदन फिजिक्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड ऑफ टू इन्फानाइट प्लेन पैरल सीट्स ऑफ चार्ज लेट्स वेगेन दिस इज वन ऑफ द एप्लीकेशन ऑफ गॉस लॉ बाई यूजिंग गॉस लॉ और गॉस थियोरम वी कैन इजिल कैलकुलेट द इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड ऑफ टू इन्फानाइट प्लेन पैरल सीट्स ऑफ चार्ज Let we have to consider two infinite plane sets of charges. Named as one is A. Another one is B. The charges are distributed like this. These are. The non-conducting infinite sets of charges. Let the surface charge density of the plane set of charges A. Its surface charge density. Let sigma A. Its surface charge density sigma A, and its surface charge density let sigma B. सरफेस चार्ज डेंसिटी चार्ज फॉर सरफेस एरिया हाउ मच चार्ज विद इन दैट ऑफ यूनिट सरफेस एरिया सिग्मा ए सिग्मा ए इज द सरफेस चार्ज डेंसिटी ऑफ प्लेन सीट ऑफ चार्ज ए प्लेन सीट ऑफ चार्ज ए इट्स सरफेस चार्ज डेंसिटी सिग्मा ए एंड सिग्मा बी सरफेस चार्ज डेंसिटी ऑफ प्लेन सीट ऑफ चार्ज प्लेन सीट ऑफ चार्ज बी सिग्मा ए एंड सिग्मा बी these two sets a and b divided the space into three regions here region 1 here region 2 here region 3 if there are two plane parallel sets as a result three regions are created 1 2 and 3 now we have to calculate the electric field intensity due to these parallel sets at these three respective regions we have to discuss one by one in case of region 1 in region 1 what happened the electric field due to the charge sets a and b will be from left to right means at region 1 means there will be a point at region 1 in that of region 1 we have to calculate the electric field intensity due to charge sets a and charge sets b that from right to left right to left that is the opposite to the direction in which the distances are measured the distances are measured if we draw the coordinate axis the distances are measured from that origin to that positive direction it taken as positive and from 
right to left it will be taken as the negative. So, here in that region I you have to calculate the electric field intensity that from right to left the electric field in region 1 the electric field in region 1 due to both the charge sheets both the charged sheets A and B. Look at here. This one be an infinite plane sheets of charge which is non conducting. So, due to that infinite plane sheet of charge which is non conducting, so the electric field intensity at point in that of region I will be how much? that is the surface charge density divided by 2 times of epsilon naught as we discussed in the previous video. So, here the electric field intensity at region 1 due to this 2 charge sheets will be the electric field intensity due to charge sheet A and electric field intensity due to the charge sheet B and that is measured from right to left. So, due to A what should be the electric field intensity that will be since it is from right to left negative direction that is minus sigma A divided by 2 epsilon naught again for charge sheet B that is minus sigma B divided by 2 epsilon naught is equal to minus sigma a divided by 2 epsilon naught minus sigma b divided by 2 epsilon naught here we take common minus 1 divided by 2 epsilon naught that is sigma a plus sigma b is the electric field intensity due to these two parallel sheets of charge in region 1. Next what should be the electric field intensity due to these two parallel sheets of charge at region 2 in region 2. in region 2 what happened. So, here in region 2 the electric field due to the charge A charge sheet A will be from left to right if that point is here then the electric field due to charge A from left to right that means along the positive direction and again due to the charge sheet B that will be from right to left that is along in the negative direction. Therefore, the electric field in that region 2 due to charge sheet A and B will be how much that will be electric field electric field in region 2 due to seats A and B and is E is equal to due to the seat A that is sigma A divided by 2 epsilon naught as it is from left to right along positive direction that is why that is sigma a divided by 2 epsilon naught and due to seed b 
that is from right to left therefore in the negative direction that is minus sigma a divided by 2 epsilon naught we have e is equal to 1 by 2 epsilon naught as common sigma a minus that is sigma b sigma b sigma a minus sigma b the expression for electric field intensity in region 2 due to these two circuits next what should be the electric field intensity in region 3 in region 3 look at if that point is at region 3 then the electric field intensity due to a and electric field intensity due to b here both are in the positive directions so here electric field will be from left to right that is in positive direction due to both the charge sheet a and b in that of region 3 that's the region that's the basic region we take positive signs on both these two cases so electric field due to seeds a and b in region 3 that is e is equal to sigma a divided by 2 epsilon naught plus sigma b divided by 2 epsilon naught 1 by 2 epsilon naught taking as common that is sigma a plus sigma b these are the three possible expressions here we have to introduce the special case special case special case if the surface charge density on sheet a is same as the surface charge density of sheet b if the when surface charge density at sheet a that is sigma a is equal to sigma b let we define that will be the sigma then look here sigma a is equal to sigma when sigma a is equal to sigma and sigma b negative of sigma it is just opposite equal and opposite here the surface charge density is sigma but here the surface charge density is it is negative but equal so then what happened in region 1 then in region 1 region 1 look here sigma a minus sigma b that will be cancelled so e is equal to 0 in region 1 e is equal to minus 1 by 2 epsilon naught sigma minus sigma so e is equal to 0 here in region 1 if the surface charge density on both these sheets are equal and opposite then electric field intensity in region 1 will be 0 in region 2 in region 2 sigma a minus sigma b means 0 region 2 e is equal to 1 by 2 epsilon naught 
सिग्मा माइनस सिग्मा सो इज इक्वल टू जीरो फाइनली इन रिजन थ्री E is equal to one by two epsilon naught sigma plus sigma. That is two sigma. One by two epsilon naught into two sigma. Two to cancel out. So here we have E is equal to sigma divided by epsilon naught. Here we can easily conclude that when the surface has density. Of these two plane parallel sheets of charge have equal and opposite, then in these two regions, region one and region two, there will be no such electrical intensity due to these two charge sheets. And the only at region three, there will be some electrical intensity due to the charge sheets A and B. That is mathematically. Sigma divided by epsilon naught. So, with the help of this video lecture, you understand by applying Gauss law how we can find out the electric field of two plane parallel sheets of charge, which both are infinite plane parallel sheets of charge. At region one, region two. And region three, and a special case when sigma a is equal to sigma and sigma b is equal to negative of sigma, means these two are equal and opposite. Surface charge densities are equal and opposite. Then the electric field intensity in region one zero, in region two zero, only due to that of region three. So with this useful and infinite notes, let me wind up this session. Thank you.